Hey guys, Jarek here, and welcome to my performance test of the KW Way MP7. While chronoing the MP7, the weather couldn't have been better for a gas blowback gun. It was 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside, or 32 degrees Celsius for you non-American viewers, which should give you the best FPS you're going to get out of your gas blowback rifle. The average seemed to stay roughly around 400 feet per second, which means you're not going to be taking this into CQB fields. I do wish KDB Way would lower that a little bit, but you can get downgrade parts so you can take this gun into CQB. However, what this does mean is that you can take this gun into woodland and not suffer having a lower feet per second than full size AEGs. When I tested the rate of fire of this gun, it averaged around 1000 to 1100 rounds per minute. That is well above average and is a very respectable rate of fire. Combine that with the fact that this gun is very very loud, and it brings in an intimidation factor that no AEG can even hope to rival with. Just trust me when I say this thing is loud, my camera does not do it justice. Once again, I need to make clear what is going to be considered a hit. I'm shooting at very small targets made for a 22 rifle. In a game, you're usually going to be shooting at a man-sized target, so anything within this red square is going to be considered a hit. But keep in mind, this red square is still smaller than your usual human-sized torso. At 100 feet away, not much is needed to be said about this gun. It's incredibly accurate in both semi-automatic and fully automatic fire. At 150 feet away, the performance of this weapon was still extremely impressive. Almost every single BB hit within the designated hit square we described earlier. I have no doubt that you'd be able to hit a man-sized target past 150 feet. That's incredibly impressive considering this gun's barrel length is only about half of what you usually see in a standard M4A1. This means your small PDW of an MP7 can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a full-sized AEG with no downsides. Here we have a PDW that's about half the size of your standard M4 when fully extended. The velocity is 400 feet per second. The rate of fire is 1000 to 1100 rounds per minute. The accuracy is that that can rival a full size AEG. If you play a lot of woodland games and you're looking at an MP7, you really can't go wrong. However, the one downside with this gun is that you cannot take it into CQB. It simply shoots way too hot and would be deemed field illegal. The good news is that you can purchase a drop in bolt. Once you purchase this bolt, you simply remove two pins on your MP7, pull your old one, and insert the new bolt. Once these steps are completed, you have a CQB Arena legal feet per second. And once you have this bolt purchased, I actually see this to be a good thing to have this gun shooting so hot. It means you can have the perfect velocity for Woodland and CQB. If you're buying this gun purely to do CQB, it's a little annoying to have to spend extra money, but I do see it as a good thing. Overall, KDB Way's MP7 is a great small PDW, and if you're into the MP7s, you can't go wrong with this. That sums up my performance test of the KDB Way MP7. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the review.
station entrance when we're done. So first we better clear the roof and the towers and then take care of the patrols. This game looks really good. So, standard sniper mission? Do you know anything about what's brewing? <laughs> We're gonna go mini golfing and you, so how long uh, do you think it'll take before you start feeling a little bit even more safe? I'm just gonna chew up my ice cream and drink it again. He is uh, slightly lactose intolerant. Slightly? Slightly. slightly. <laughs> At least it doesn't come out the fucking other way. It just comes out of my mouth, damn it. That's not any better. I'd rather have it on Being my sick mouth. is still being sick.